Welcome to Lyme Regis Fossils. Let's go and have a look for fossils out through to the west of Lyme Regis. Here is a really nice pebble from the beach. And I'm just gonna wet that. It's got quite a lot of Lyme Bay agate in it. That mauve purple translucent material, especially found in the chert beds. This is a really beautiful part of the world. It's Pinay Bay and you can see the tide is lowering down there in the distance. Well, we've got a good sea crashing in here. It's a slightly dull day at the moment, but they said it's gonna cheer up later. I've got my cost of living crisis sandwich with me, 98p there at cost. So uh, quite a good tasty thing to bring out on the beach with me and uh, eat. Food always tastes good when you come out on the beach. It says something like it's uh, spiced rice and beans, uh, eat hot or cold. So uh, that's something to eat now. Well, this is a good ammonite block. Right round here in Pinay Bay. You can see part of the keel there of an ammonite and there, shaved down by the action of the sea. I'm gonna have a tap along that with the hammer. That split some of the beef rock off. I'm glad to get rid of that. There's certainly one in there to develop. A nice ammonite preserved in calcite there and the other one you can see the structure of with the calcite a little baby ammonite right in the rock there there is a sad stone face on the beach a tear in its eye the sun has not emerged yet but here you can see along in Pinay Bay a beautiful moss waterfall that is re-emerging and you can see it's really going well establishing itself back in the area where it fell down here's the old picture that's a sad sight for me to see the beautiful moss waterfall has crashed down onto the shoreline after all that rough weather in the last few days in may We quickly washed away out to sea today when the sea comes back in over this area. In the past, I have found some beautiful Lime Bay agate around the area of the Moss Waterfall. And you can see there that lovely, beautiful Chalcedony. And it's there in those chert rocks. There's what the moss waterfall used to look like that lovely bulbous moss there and the water running through it that fresh water running down onto the beach and here is another lovely sunset when i went out to see the moss waterfall in pinay bay so i'm really glad that that area now is really starting to come on it's really starting to re-establish itself and it's a fantastic thing to see I don't think it'll be long before it really gets back to its original form. The fossil collecting really isn't that good at the moment. When I come out, I always remind myself of some of the beautiful finds I've had in the past, like petrified wood, the lovely fossil wood 
that you get out through these parts from the Cretaceous period. And those finds to me are the ones that bring me back and back again so that I might have a chance at low tide of finding some more. The agatized and silicified fossil wood from the Cretaceous period you find on the beaches when you're really, really lucky. And here can you spot the shell, the fossilized shell in the Cretaceous rock on the beach. That's a fossil shell there that I've spotted as I'm walking along. It's always nice to see the large ammonites as you go through this part of the coastline through to the west of Lyme Regis I'm fossil hunting at and you can see on the limestone ledges in lots of different places the Eretites ammonites beware of the dangerous cliffs do not go anywhere near the cliffs when you go out to these further reaches the cliffs are dangerous and liable to fall suddenly and without warning well let's go back into Lyme Regis after this bit of fossil collecting and look at a larger ammonite here and you can see that one there that was found along Monmouth Beach many moons ago. That's part of someone's collection, that one. And you can see there an ammonite and what they used to look like swimming around in the Jurassic Seas. And there is one of the parts, a fragment of an ammonite, showing you the green calcite. The green calcite that's got into the chambers of the creature. And the ammonite used its chambers to fill with water or gas to give them their buoyancy in the sea. And they jetted out water with a siphuncle going through the sea at a rate of knots. And there's its sharp beak. It had in between the tentacles there, a bit like a parrot's beak that was. And there was a real plethora of different species of ammonites you can see here in this fold out chart. And you can find many different species when you're hunting along the Jurassic coast. Here finally is a bit of Lime Bay agate that I picked up on the way back. I'm just going to wet that to see the colour of it. But it's always nice to find a bit of Lime Bay agate when you're hunting along through towards Monmouth Beach and beyond into Pinay Bay when you can get out there when the tide is really low. You must establish the really low tides to be able to get out there and fossil hunt out on. So thanks very much for watching this short fossil hunting video. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one.